We humans imagine ourselves all the time. We can picture ourselves in the future, in the past. Uh, what we're trying to do here is have machines that can imagine themselves, and by doing that, they can adapt to new situation and can be more resilient. At first, it kind of had no idea what was going on because it had no, it had gathered no information about itself or about anything. So it moved at first completely random after it's collected a sufficient amount of information and we've trained it for a sufficient amount of time, it was able to create a model of itself from the information that it's gathered, from all its random motion, from all its babbling. It was able to produce something that allowed it, that was useful and allowed it to do any number of tasks. And self-awareness, I would say, is that is the holy grail, it's the pinnacle of, of what we consider uh, autonomy. So in many ways, it's, it's something that we're all striving for in, in, in robotics and AI. It can do a lot of good things, but it can also be misused, and I think uh, you know, we are very confident that this kind of technology uh, would be very beneficial. It's, uh, the, the benefits far outweigh the risks. You'll have more uh, resilient systems, uh, resi systems that can recover from damage, from malfunction. If you're in a driverless car and the driverless car can, can track itself and be more self-aware, it can probably drive a lot better. Yeah.